back to Game Room Theater, guys. Oh, this looks familiar. I'm big time into projectors, as you guys know. And a lot of the magic and voodoo that happens what? behind the scenes happens with Texas Instrument DLP chips that are inside. I've got 90% of my projectors that I've got have DLP technology in it. And to get a deeper understanding of it, I am here with Jesse with Texas Instrument. And Jesse, can you tell us what's the next big, big thing in DLP technology? I think you have to look at the whole projection system because there's a lot going on inside that and a lot changing. So on the DLP side, we're increasing resolution, we're shrinking the projection solution, and we're increasing brightness. Uh, but beyond that, the illumination is changing. So I think most people think of lamps when they think of projectors. That's, that's changing over time. We've gone to solid state illumination, LEDs and lasers, and specifically over the last several years, we've had this explosion in RGB laser projectors. This gives you wider color gamut, higher contrast, higher efficiency, uh, and it's really changing the game. You've got not only laser TVs, but also long throw laser projectors that are extremely compact and creating images that rival the premium home cinema projectors. Jesse, as I mentioned, I've got a whole bunch of different types of, types of projectors, like you know, small, big scale, ultra short throws. So what's going on from a scalability perspective? Yeah, we scale by designing and manufacturing dozens of different digital micro mirror devices. This is just one of many that we make. Uh, our small ones go into projectors that can fit in your pocket. Our bigger ones go into digital cinemas. And our medium-sized ones, well, those are your 4K home cinema projectors. Uh, so, yeah, DLP technology is extremely scalable. We can make DMDs with fewer mirrors. We can make DMDs with a whole lot of mirrors. Uh, we can make them in different packages to support different brightness levels. Uh, so, yeah, our customers can do all kinds of different flavors and varieties of projectors with our technology. Jesse, from my understanding, that's a DMD chip and it's got 2.1 million pixels in it. What does that even mean? And how is that even possible? Yeah, each micro mirror is 5.4 microns. That's about half the size of a red blood cell. I've worked at DLP technology for over 10 years. I still find it hard to imagine how small the technology is. Each micro mirror is moving on the order of microseconds, flipping back and forth, enabling the, you know, creating the picture that you see on the screen. It's really crazy technology. You know, I'm a big gamer and I like being immersed and that's why I like giant screens with them. But latency always is an issue. So what does DLP bring to this? Yeah, I'm a gamer too. And I feel like I can notice tens of milliseconds of difference in, in latency. Um, our new 4K solution enables sub millisecond latency, thank, thanks to the high switching speeds of the micro mirrors themselves. Jesse, what does all that mean from a frame rate perspective? Yeah, today, all DLP 4K projectors are limited to 4K at 60 hertz or 1080p at up to 240 hertz. But that's about to change. Uh, our new 4K solution, which is in development, uh, will enable up to 120 hertz 4K. So you can hook up your gaming console or gaming PC and finally run 4K 120 hertz. Uh, we've been, <laughs> our customers have been begging this, uh, begging us. Hey, I'm, I'm absolutely one of them. <laughs> and gamers as well. So finally, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I think those projectors will be pretty awesome. <laughs> so Jesse, where do we go from here? Because almost every new projector that I'm getting now is now moving towards lasers. So how does DLP play into that? Laser illumination has many advantages from the consumer perspective. Um, you get higher contrast, lower black levels, wider color gamuts, uh, smaller, more compact, more efficient systems. Uh, so all these have come together to create really exciting new DLP laser 4K projectors that you see hitting the market now. We're really excited about it. I just got one from my home theater. It's amazing. Um, it's a little overkill for watching children's shows with my kids, but <laughs> when they go to bed, I get to play my video games. It looks amazing. <laughs> so, you know, when you're into this kind of tech, we become those guys where we're not watching the movie for the movie. We're watching to get the most out of the image. And yeah. I can totally appreciate that you're 
a brother in kind. I'm sure yes. you, you suffer with the same issues. Oh uh, yeah, I'm the one changing the, the settings on the projector when I start every movie, much to my wife's chagrin. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I do really appreciate the, the technology evolution that has gone into projectors, not only from DLP technology, but the, the illumination side as well. And the result is just amazing. I mean, sometimes yeah. I prefer to watch movies at home now versus going to the cinema. <laughs> That's how good the home projectors are. Likewise. So this is a tough one, Jesse, that, you know, I want to know about, and I'm sure a lot of people want to know about. Why can't these just be native 4K versus pixel shifting? Yeah, I see the comments. I see the forum posts about native 4K. And the, the truth of it is, there are 4K, native 4K projectors out there. They're found in digital cinemas. They're found in large venues. And these projectors are massively large and very expensive. They're really not realistic for the consumer market. It's just a limitation of a variety of technological factors. But for the consumer market, the size, the cost, the power consumption of a native 4K projector simply isn't realistic. Um, we feel that the 4K solutions that we have on the market today and that are in development at Texas Instruments offer best-in-class performance for the consumer market. See, contrast ratio and color accuracy is highly important to a lot of people, including myself. So how, do, how does DLP play into that? Yeah, our micro mirrors are highly reflective and extremely fast. This gives our projector manufacturers flexibility to make trade-offs in the optical design whether it's brightness or contrast, color gamut, whatever they want to emphasize in their design, depending on the illumination, they can create a more a projector that's more suitable for, you know, home cinema versus a portable projector where contrast may not be as important. Um, but the combination of DLP technology and RGB laser illumination really gives you the best of both worlds. You've got over 110% uh, BT 2020 color gamut, You've got contrast <laughs> levels that are being pushed to new, uh, new extremes. Um, and you've got compact sizes. <laughs> it's pretty amazing how small you can, you can get uh, a high quality home cinema projector now. Yeah, I often hear about 0.65 inches for the DMD, 0.47 inches. What does that do for contrast and what's the difference? Yeah, so historically with lamp and LED illumination, which kind of emit light everywhere. <laughs> um, you generally need a bigger DLP chip to get higher brightness and higher contrast. But with the recent evolution of RGB laser illumination, actually you can get the similar performance and contrast with a smaller DLP chip. It also reduces cost and shrinks the entire optical system as well. So you'll see, that's why 0.47 is the most popular chip in our uh, portfolio for RGB laser 4K projectors uh, compared to the big chip. So Jesse, this was amazing and highly enlightening. I've always had a whole bunch of questions. I hold you guys in special regard because you really are the unsung heroes that are inside and behind the tech and the shiny things that we see that create these beautiful images that, and, you, and you've seen me before. You know, I love giant projected images. And I want to thank you for taking the time to explain the magic that you guys do behind the scenes. And I hope yeah. to see you guys again soon. Hey, get ready to thank replace you. your laser projectors in your game room theater. <laughs> it's, a, it's a disease. Improvements are coming. It's, it's a disease. It's, a, it's going to be a constant thing. Thank you.